Ramon Saunders is the guy you need to fear most if you're a Colonial fan. He's a 6'3", 210-pound redshirt senior guard out of Temple Hills, Maryland, averaging 18.5 points, nearly seven rebounds, and close to four assists per ball game for the Seahawks. Chase Freeman starts at guard. He's 5'11", 165, a sophomore from Gallatin, Tennessee. 7.7 .7 points, 2.3 boards, 2.8 assists per ball game. And Elijah Davis is a guard forward combo. 6'4", 215, a senior from the Bronx, New York. 11.5 points and three caroms per game. Bashir Mason is the head coach of the Wagner Seahawks. Mike Babel, Donald Copeland, and Winston Smith assist him on the bench. It's a very physical ball club, as we keep telling you. And this is going to be grinded out basketball, I've got a feeling today, Jim. And Ramon, Ramon Saunders is uh, everything he's cracked up to be. And now he's a senior, he's the leader of the team. Really, really difficult guy to stop one-on-one. -on -one. So Clinton's going to have to almost gang uh, defend him. One guy's not going to be able to stop him completely. I don't even think we'll have to guess as to whom will start for Robert Morris today. Andy Toole has gone with the same five all season long. Yeah, that's amazing. I tell you, I don't think that's ever happened and in the history that I've been around this program. It's been over 30 years, so uh, I don't remember any team going to starting line all the way through. Let's see if they make it, though. We still got a ways to go. Mm -hmm. Basketball game number 21. We commented to Andy the other night that it's hard to believe that we are 21 games deep into the season. Yeah, this is the fun part of the year, though, when you're in conference play and every game is so big. And man, I'm excited to come. Uh, watch the Colonials play every time they're in a conference game. Robert Morris is in its alternates tonight. They're going to wear the red tops and bottoms with white numbers and lettering and blue trim. Nobody nobody on that court for Wagner is thin. They're all pretty thick guys, very physical, tough-minded guys. Look like football players, and uh, they're going to be a tough team to knock off here today. Charles Bain will jump center against A.J. Sumbry. John Williams, two seconds to shoot. Let's one fly from three-point range. It's good, and the Colonials take the early lead. It back to Josh. He'll drive down the left lane, side and lay it up and score. Inside the key, forces one up, backs it in off the square, and takes a punishment and a foul. Savion McEwen's going to catch, and Jay it up and good. It's a 17-footer. Now a long three for John Williams. And Chris Coleman just jumped up and fired a triple. Chris Coleman is shooting 60% on the year. Saunders. Shot blocked by Malik Penaway, but he got it back. Gets his left shoulder and fires the hook with the right hand, and he dips it into the hole, and it's 20 to 14, Bobby Moe. Freeman caught up with it first. He'll send it over to the right side, a two-point jumper this time by Norfleet. Malik Petaway at the left block, fades, fires, banks, scores. Oh, what a beautiful shot. Sumbry yes. charges into Malik Petaway, who stood there, stood his ground above the left block and knew that Sumbry was going to try to bang into him, and when he did, Petaway went down like he was digging for coal. Oh, I love the way Malik Petaway plays. And kicking out to Saunders. Now a long three with three oh. seconds left. It's going to bank in for Jonathan Norfleet. And Wagner does get that last basket of the half. And Norfleet, I guess he did call it, didn't he? Uh, I think it was Nigel Jackson to hit that. Was it? My yeah. mistake. Then. But uh, he hit some big buckets for uh, Wagner. That first. He actually kept him in there this, that first half. They only got 19 points. I believe he got uh, at least nine of them. Well, they got the big last bucket of the first half and they cut the deficit down to five just the type of game we expected here tonight fast and physical and it's time now for our first half summary brought to you by people's natural gas jim your thoughts a uh, great first half if you like defense uh, just tremendous hard nosed play uh, guys leaving it all out on the floor i love it as, as an ex-coach chris i like watching this kind of a game fans probably don't like it they like to see the ball go into the hoop a little bit more uh, but I think the second half, the offense will pick up a little bit more because the defensive guys will get a little bit tired in that second half. So it's going to be a battle of wills here in the second half. Who wants it more?
Beckham swinging around the right side. Puts up a pop shot from 13. It's good. And the Colonial lead is back to five. And he's Mendy. He'll turn. He'll fire. The shot is up and good as he dipped the right shoulder this time. Here comes Josh Williams. Hook fly up, up and good as he glided left to right through the key. Whistle blows. Foul called. Count the bucket. Yeah, Colonials don't run much, but when you get an opportunity against Wagner, you better take advantage of it. Josh Williams did with a beautiful finish. A high right wing, and Freeman just drained a triple, and Wagner needed that badly. Tom's Malik Petaway. Oh. Jump up through two defenders, Jimmy. Unbelievable. What a shot by Malik Petaway. The right side wing. McEwen drives left of the key. Layup. Up and good! Up big drives in. Floater. Good! Oh. Charles Bay with a teardrop. Running down to the left block. Weaving. Firing. Oh! Hey. John Williams makes it 49-45. We're under a minute to go. McConnell again for another try on its way yes and the Colonials all they need to do is watch Wagner inbound the ball game is over Colonials win final score Robert Morris 57 Wagner 51 Robert Morris rises 12 wins nine defeats on the season seven wins only one loss in conference play the first place Robert Morris Colonials survive the dog fight here today. We're really just taking one game at a time and kind of going to enjoy this one tonight and then as soon as tomorrow rolls around uh, we're going to get ready for St. Francis PA so you know, we're not really looking ahead right now so uh, yeah I, I think we're just worried about our next game. It started with Maddie. you know he realized you know a senior to senior matchup that you know it started with him. I think he did a great job you know all game you know with his urgency even rebound like you said rebounding but it started defensively and you know just us being a, a mirror image of them, like, you know, Coach Coach Stress, you know, it's basically us playing each other. And, you know, we realized when it, when it came down to it, it didn't, it didn't matter who was, which senior was which senior or whatever, we just had to get stops. And, you know, we stressed that all game, you know, trying to get stops, but we did that. Obviously a really gutty effort by our guys, uh, super proud of their ability to, you know, play four games in a week and, and uh, have that kind of defensive effort, that kind of rebounding effort. You know, obviously wasn't pretty offensively, uh, but that's usually what you get when, when Wagner and Robert Morris play each other. There's not always a lot of uh, points scored, but uh, there's certainly going to be a lot of effort and a lot of energy and intensity in, in the game. And um, I thought our guys really responded uh, and, and really competed, uh, especially you know down that stretch where we, we needed to come up with key stops.